Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will my honourable friend, the Minister and Member for Wickham, confirm that he heard from Charles Grant for the Centre of European Research that officials in the Treasury had deliberately developed a model to show that all options other than staying in the customs union were bad and that officials intended to use this to influence policy. If this is correct, does he share my view that it goes against the spirit of the Northcote Trevelyan reforms that underpin our independent civil service? Yeah. Minister. Mr Speaker, I am sorry to say that uh, my honourable friend's account is essentially correct. Uh, at the time, I considered it implausible because my direct experience is that civil servants are extraordinarily careful to uphold the impartiality of the civil service. Um, I think that we must pre proceed with great caution in this matter, uh, but I have heard him raise this issue. I think that we need to be very careful not to uh, uh, take this forward in an appropriate way, but uh, he has reminded me of something which I heard. I think it would be quite extraordinary if it turned out that such a thing had happened, because it would... Uh, it, it would uh, well, the Honourable Gentleman says it was correct. I didn't say it was correct. I said it, the, the, the account, the account that, that that was put to me, Mr Speaker, is correct. The, it, was, the, it was put to me. I considered it an extraordinary allegation, Mr Speaker. I still consider it an extraordinary allegation. And I think we must... I said it was correct that the point... Mr Speaker, to be absolutely clear, I said it was correct that the allegation was put to me. I did not in any way seek to confirm the truth of it, but what I would say is that we need to proceed with great caution because it is essential that we continue to uphold and support the impartiality of the civil service.